Well, Reality Check was first to call out the GOP in Maine after Governor Mitt Romney was declared the winner of the Maine caucus with only 84% of the precincts counted. Since then, there have been reports of missing numbers and votes not counted. Tonight, Ben is the first in the nation to tell you what those recounted numbers look like and why after Saturday, there may be a different winner of the Maine caucus. It's a reality check you won't see anywhere else. Well, let's start with the very latest development. It was here on Reality Check where you first heard about all the problems with the main caucus. MSNBC's Rachel Maddow followed our report a day later. The rest of the media, though, they are still silent. Among those problems in Maine, entire counties where votes were not counted. Earlier this week, I introduced you to Matt McDonald. He's the caucus chairman from Belfast, Maine, who said that the numbers from his caucus were not correctly reported. Ten towns and all the results when he contacted the state GOP were incorrect. The Daily Caller did an interview with the head of the main GOP, Mr. Charlie Webster, who said that his office went back and has now corrected those numbers, but also said there will be no access. We will give it to the committee on March 10th. We're not going to release them. People can whine and complain and plead, but I'm not going to make them public. But that changed today. Webster said he would go ahead and release the corrected numbers tomorrow. But guess what? I've got a sneak peek of some of those numbers for you. Now, before I show them to you, remember what the numbers look like on Saturday night, February 11th. Governor Mitt Romney had 39% of the vote. Congressman Ron Paul, 36%. With 84% of precincts counted, it's a difference of 194 votes. Now, remember, I told you that Waldo County had lines of zeros in that area, as if no one had caucused in any of those towns. Tonight, the corrected numbers look like this. Waldo County, Mitt Romney adds an additional 24 votes. Rick Santorum, an additional 47 votes. Ron Paul wins Waldo County with 71 additional votes. I also told you that the town of Waterville looked as if no one had caucused. I've been told that there, Mitt Romney has picked up another five from Waterville, Ron Paul an additional 21. Now, I haven't seen every county, but from those numbers, the gap may have already closed by 40 votes. Having said that, Maine is still not over. This Saturday, Hancock County and Washington County are going to hold their caucuses. In Washington County, the caucus, remember, it was supposed to be held on Saturday the 11th, but the state GOP postponed it because of concerns of snow. Hancock County had already scheduled their caucus for the 18th. For that reason, Mr. Webster told me earlier this week that these caucuses will not count. But tonight, the GOP chairman for Hancock County says they better count because it was Mr. Webster who changed the rules, he says, in the middle of the game. On the telephone today, Eric White told me that he has been to no less than five state GOP meetings and the issue of holding the caucus on February 18th it was never brought up. In fact, he says the first time that he heard the caucuses would not be counted was Sunday morning after Mr. Webster announced that Mitt Romney was the winner of the main caucus. Listen. At least five times you all had met and nothing was said before that. No, nothing was said. What was said was that even after the 11th, they would count. They would be added to the grand total. So n none of this, you know, not going to count at all. Now, what is important to note here is just how close this race is and how many people Mr. White expects to have turnout for the caucuses this Saturday. For example, he says that in some areas of Hancock County, voters have already caucused. Now, you can't use numbers from 2008, though, he says, to claim that voter turnout won't be high this weekend. And here's why. Because in the towns in Hancock that have already held their caucus... He gives the example of the town of Ellsworth, Maine. Well, four years ago, 36 people turned out to caucus. But this year, the number was more than double with 87 people. In fact, Mr. White says it's been that way in every town that's caucused in Hancock County so far. So, with the 17 towns that will still caucus on Saturday, how many people is the GOP county chairman expecting? For actual participating people to show up, I'm, I'm thinking it was from about... 300 to 350 people. 300 to 350 people in Hancock, plus all of Washington County. So here's what you need to know. The number of people who will show up this weekend to caucus could be very high. The bottom line here, the fight for Maine is far from over, and it will be settled Saturday night. A few weeks ago, I asked the question, you know, why hold caucuses anymore? And maybe what's happening in Maine is a good reason for it. 
seems like there is much more involvement from those who are politically interested. And at least in this case, there is stricter accountability when everyone can see and hear who is voting for whom. At least that seems to be happening as the people of Maine are demanding it. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on this story, you can head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan, WXIX.